Good morning everyone and welcome to Journaling Junkie. I'm here today to show you my latest junk journal um, which is uh, 7 inches by 5 and a quarter inches. Um, it's based on the Ameri early American West. Um, lots of uh, grunginess in here. Um, it will be for sale in my Etsy store once I've uploaded the video. Um, please go and take a look. It'll also be posted on Instagram. Um, it's got uh, lots of grunginess, um, lots of photos or copies of photos and things like that. So I'm just going to get straight into it and uh, I hope you enjoy uh, watching this with me. Okay, so here's the front. Uh, this is uh, General Custer, I believe. Um, it's a copy of a, a photograph. Um, we've got um, fabrics here. This orangey browny colour here is silk. Uh, this is just uh, a little piece that I've torn off. Um, it, it's quite a rustic looking. I've tried to keep it grungy as though it's um, sand worn, do you know what I mean? That dusty, the dusty look. So, uh, lots of flares. And then this little button, it actually has the uh, star on, so I thought that was a good sort of rep representation of Texas. So it fastens with this cord and then this wonderful paper here. Uh, this is from Cleeblatt and it um, has a prairie theme to it, you know, with the, the little uh, house and everything. So I thought that went really good as a front cover. Here I've taken this image uh, from a book that I have about the West. And uh, really nice. And then here we have some bits of ephemera. And this is California Gold Mines. It's a copy of a certificate. This is just uh, added behind. Collage behind there. Sorry, I'm a bit out of sorts today, so if I don't make sense, I do apologise. <laughs> and then here, uh, Iowa and Nebraska lands. Stick it there. Let me flip this over. Take an envelope and obviously use this as a, a pocket. And here we have a minor. Just pops in there. These lovely papers at the sign are from uh, Lorna Taylor. And this just slips out. Some writing space. There's lots of writing space throughout for a little journal that's got so much in it. I do have a book um, that's the Cowboy Cookbook. It's full of lots of recipes and uh, lovely information. I've got a bit of collage work there. I don't know if I mentioned it to you before, but uh, I'm actually part of an American Western town in this country. And so this holds a lot of fascination for me, stuff like this. Annie Oakley. This I fussy cut out. Collaging and a die cut here. And here, copy of a photograph. I've actually put it onto photograph paper. And then I did some ticking. Hessian, a little bit of green fabric there in the bottom, and then we've got a little notebook here, all sorts of different papers in, just clips on 
that. Oops. Not two pages, no. Then here, this wonderful photo of a, a log cabin. Perhaps there's a little pocket, this envelope that I've made. A little pocket there. Uh, this is uh, taken from a book about the American West that I also have. Start of uh, little towns growing. Some uh, tracing paper. And then here, this lovely little tag moving on it. Simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. Uh, I've added some uh, vintage crocheted lace here, but it will actually serve as a pocket as well. Oop, that's come off there. Here we've got uh, a photograph of uh, Belle Star, who was uh, an outlaw in the day. And then a copy of her reward poster. And her husband. She's obviously uh, really wanted by the amount ten thousand dollars, huge amount. And this is the other side to the uh, cowboy book page. Uh, you can actually follow the recipes on this. Wranglers earn thirty dollars a month. This lovely image here, and then just some writing paper there. Right, some writing paper here. We've got uh, paper from a ledger, and I've made this into a pocket. I've Put some Tim Holtz tape across there because it is quite fragile. Uh, but I've sewn it as well, which give it added protection. Um, and left this blank so that you can write on there. Collage in here. Lovely pages, complete that. And then here, Texas Cattle Brands. That's a full A4 piece of paper. With lots of writing space, and you also could cut it up to make pockets or whatever. And have this little booklet. Be sure to read this. And this is the Union and Central Pacific Railroad. It's just a little booklet that I've made. And some more writing paper there. Where wouldn't we be without a cacti? And then this beautiful image. This, she's absolutely stunning. Lovely lady. I just added some vintage broader anglers around there. It's a little bit of... Uh, it is a vintage uh, lace. This uh, page is a bookend from a really old book. So I've left that plain. I think it's 1890, the book that this comes from. Writing space, a little bit of tasseled fabric there. Some collaging, tracing paper. And then here. The Morning Appeal, the newspaper, and I've just torn bits out to make it look old and burnt. Lovely uh, 
copy of a page from a, a journal uh, from a I think it was a rancher pocket here right under there bits of the ephemera buffalo bill and the I'm not sure if that says turnpike company Wonderful copy of a photograph. I don't know if he's an outlaw or he just looks that way. <laughs> so I did some uh, vintage Broadway on glaze cross there and a little bit of stitching. And this textured paper. And then here. Lovely image of this lady. Um, I think that's Art House Whimsy. I just added some uh, fabric behind, various bits of paper and textures. And on the back page. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned the uh, cover is covered in calico, really hard wearing. And again, I thought it went with the uh, Western theme. Okay, so we've come to the end of the journal. I hope you've enjoyed watching this with me. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you to all my new subscribers and to my old ones. Thank you for the, all the lovely comments that you uh, always leave. And any I haven't answered, I will get back to. Okay, take care. Bye for now.